Hello friends and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'll share with you some best useful and productivity apps for your iPad or iPhone you should check out in this month. Drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. The first app to check out is Canva. With some of the thumbnails you see on my videos, I designed most of them using Canva and even the video you are watching. I made this thumbnail using Canva. You can access Canva for free and start creating your design using free subscription with the necessary tools provided. But you get to do a lot if you are able to pay for the pro version also. The user interface is not very scary. It's very user friendly so whether you are a pro or not you can still use canva so not only youtube thumbnails can be created here but you can also create designs for instagram twitter facebook and other sites of your choice and even school presentations you get to access free templates provided or you can also make your own design from scratch when you click on this blank canvas one interesting thing about canva is when you start a design on one computer you can continue it on the other computer all you need to do is you just log in your details and and it works perfect so any design of your choice you can create using canva and if you want more features you can get the pro version to access more tools you can also create thumbnails like this so after you are finished with your work you just click on the download button here and this will save the design to your device so you will definitely love this app if you like listening to podcasts. So Podbeans is an amazing app you should have on your device if you enjoy listening to audio form of content and discussions. This is how the interface looks like and it is very simple to navigate through. Over here you get over here you can see for you page, trending page, live page and you can browse through more categories here and there are millions of popular podcasts you can choose from or stream or even download for free as a guest user. Do you know there's another amazing thing you can do? You can also engage with the host and other listeners through messages or you can send gifts and rewards to the host. You can also call in and share your thoughts, ask questions, but to enjoy all this, you need to sign in. The app allows you to download any podcast of your choice, so in order for you to find them, then you tap on downloads. You can also view all podcast history when you tap on the history tab here. The podcast player offers some features like intelligent speed which removes silence from an episode without distortion. You can also boost your volume which normalizes the volume and makes the show easy to listen. You can also set auto play next and you can set a sleep timer as well. For those of you who enjoy dark mode, the app supports dark mode so no need to worry. The next app to check out is Adobe Scan. So Adobe Scan is very good for scanning any document on the go on your device and you can scan receipts, notes, ID cards, business cards and even whiteboard so you don't need to copy your homework questions again. Get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. You can turn them into PDF or JPEG file, very simple. The app also makes it very easy to save and organize all your documents so it is easy for you to find. Another good feature about this app is you can scan multiple pages of documents and you just save them with a single tab. You can crop, you can rotate, you can resize, you can adjust the color and you can do other things like removing and editing imperfections, erase things, marks and handwriting. But if you want to do more, then you have to subscribe to the pro version. The next app to check out is Shortcut and I know most of you don't know what this app is capable of doing. So Shortcut is an Apple system application and you can create and with this app you can create automations for them to run on their own after giving them permission to run. So let's assume today you won't be able to get to work early. But you have to take some important information to your working colleague in order for you guys to stay productive in your absence. So not to forget, you can just open the shortcut app, then you tap on create new automation. You select time of the day, you choose your preferred time. Now you select add action. Then inside the search bar here, you search for send message. Now you input in your message, then you select the recipient number or the person you want to text this message to. After you do this, you click on next, then you make sure you turn off ask before running. Once the time is due, the message will be sent out to the person you chose and very simple. 
There are other amazing things you can do with this shortcut app. If you want to see more, please leave a comment. Okay, so this brings us to the end of the video on some productive apps for your iPad or iPhone you should check out and download. If you have any other applications you'd like me to check out in the next video, please leave them in the comment section or you can also mail me. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like on it. Also, comment your favorite app. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.